Biomedical animal testing are experimental projects on animals. We want the change of animals will no longer be used for biomedical testing. We want the change to actually happen. The animals don't deserve to be treated experimentally when the people who are testing don't even know what will happen. They are just inferring. We intend to prove that they deserve special consideration and respect just like humans do. Animals also have families to take care of. And lastly, you never know what might happen with the experiments. Animals deserve the same respect as do humans. Humans have rights to freedom. The humans are not forced to be an experiment. They have to agree. They are treated kindly. Why should animals be any different than humans, since they are basically tested on it because they have the same DNA that controls their thinking? According to the New York Times, five years ago, the National Institutes of Health all but ended biomedical and behavioral research on chimpanzees, concluding that as the closest human relative, they deserve special consideration and respect, meaning they should have respect from humans and they should be treated respectfully. We should be focusing more attention on developing them based on the research of John Gluck, meaning instead of taking a risk of them dying and ruining their chance at life, we could help develop them, developing their skills and helping them live their life is what everyone wants, even animals. Animals have, like chimpanzees are used for experiments that might fail and conclude to death. Why should they die because of an experiment that didn't even work? They should live their lives like us humans do. It isn't fair for them. They don't deserve to be treated like subjects, so therefore they should be taken into special consideration and respect for all animals no matter what. As we are developing them, we should help develop social skills with other animals and their own family. Family should always be important and should always be in everybody's lives, including animals. Um, they should bond with their loved ones just as humans do. It isn't fair that they should be torn apart from their families. Would you like to be torn away from your own family to something or somewhere that you did not consent to or agree on? We kept young and intelligent monkeys separated from their families and others of their kind for many months in soundproof cages that remained 24 hours a day then measured how their potential for complex social and intellectual lives unraveled, as stated by John Gluck. Meaning animals like chimpanzees shouldn't be torn away from their families and friends. It rips apart their social skills and intellectual lives. They are sentient beings that have mental lives comparable to ours in sens insensitivities and pain and deprivation mean things to them, just as they mean things to us from the newspaper in England, the Independent meaning they have sensitivities and feelings too. Animals shouldn't be torn away from their families over experiments that might be a 50% chance of failure. Their loved ones completely gone from their life. It's torture for them. Also, if we test on animals, the results will turn out differently in most cases when they are tested on. Some species of monkeys do not do get viruses. In this case, it was a Zika virus. A species of monkeys in a laboratory at the University of Wisconsin in Madison were infected with the Zika virus. The pregnant monkeys that they tested did not appear to have the same results as a pregnant woman, according to Gath Kathy from PETA. Animal species are different from humans and have different exper experiment outcomes. If we test on, an on innocent animals, we, do we don't know if the outcome will be similar to the outcome if we tested on humans. So therefore, all of these arguments should be the reason why um, animal testing should not be allowed.